So in this box, there's a carport. So oh, what I was gonna do here is cover this area so I can park something right here so it doesn't get sun damaged. I have a problem with that right now. Just don't have enough places to put this stuff in the shade, so. And this concrete's gonna come out of here eventually. So I don't know, maybe I'll just anchor it. I'm not sure, or I'll use some of these old uh, thinner cans. I'll fill them with water and then just uh, use the handle to hold it down in place. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I may just anchor it temporarily with some redheads. We'll find out later. So this thing was provided by Gardasol. There'll be a link in the description. It's actually really, looks like a really sturdy one. It's really heavy. It's about, I'm gonna say, it's about two to three times the weight of the Harbor Freight one. So it's a definitely a way better quality and it's not much more money. So if you were looking for something like better quality than the Harbor Freight one, this is probably gonna be a video for you to watch. Let's open it up and take a look. I'll, I'll spare you guys the unboxing. I'll just gonna lay it all out and we'll take a look at it. Eventually my goal is if the top canvas wears out on it, which it looks like a pretty good canvas, we'll see when we get it out. Um, I can put these PBR panels on it. And if you watch my other videos on that, um, and then I could use that nice heavier frame and do the same thing I did with these. These are really sturdy. Uh, they look flimsy, but they're very, very sturdy and they hold my buses. I've had 80 mile an hour winds, haven't touched these things. So just so you know, they do work really well. So I was planning on eventually putting another one right here when I sell one of my bucket trucks. Uh, I won't be using those too much anymore. So I, I think I'm gonna leave like 10 feet and then put another one right here eventually. And then I'll just, so I can anchor it to that concrete pad out there because I'm gonna rip that out eventually pretty soon. I was gonna put a pool in right here. So I had this concrete ripped out. It was gonna rip that out. I don't know if I'll be doing that now because uh, COVID kind of wiped out my funding for all that. So anyway, but this concrete, you know, it's got funky. I don't know what they had here originally when I bought the house they had like some sort of a I don't know what it was but it was like a jacuzzi or one of those barbecues something with a gas power and with electric power that's the gas line but it's not working anymore I've cut it I've already disabled it so uh, eventually I'm gonna tear all this out and then I'm gonna put I was gonna put my pool equipment in there, so I'm I'm just thinking eventually what I'll do is I'll run the pool equipment, run the uh, tubing underneath here, and then just put a concrete slab in and maybe extend the patio cover all the way out. So that's what I plan on doing later on. So uh, temporarily, I figure I could use this for parking. Yeah, be fine for a little VW in there. So let's check it out. Guys, I need this thing to move it. It only says it's 61 pounds, but man, it sure does feel heavier than that. Very heavy, a lot heavier than the uh, Harbor Freight one. So in the instructions, it shows, look like you do the center pieces first, and then you kind of assemble the whole roof, and then you put the canvas on over the roof, and then do one leg, because then you can reach it. That's kind of smart. And then you do the other leg and stretch the canvas over the rest of the way. That way you're not having to put the canvas on afterwards. So I think I'll follow that. Uh, yeah, I usually follow the instructions a little bit, but, and then I finally you go ahead and put the rest of the canvas on. So yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of smart. So far, the canvas looks like it's pretty thick in comparison. It's definitely a lot thicker than one of those blue tarps. So it should last a few years. And about the amount of time I'm figuring, you know, it's probably going to take me about three years or so to be able to get to the point where I can do this concrete. I've got so many projects to do right now. And my goal is, again, to just dig down and put a trench in here and put all my pipes in because eventually I'm going to get the pool. I don't know when, but 
Well, I don't know. My wife really wants a pool, so. I don't really care. I don't like the maintenance of it, but, you know, they'll have to just pay somebody to do it all. But anyway, let's get on this. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble up all the centerpieces, and I'll show you what I got. All right, here we go. There we go. We're going to look for one with a B. We'll stick with a B. Here's a B. Okay, Thomas, hand him, him give me one more. Or two more, actually. This is what happens when you get ahead of yourself. One more after that. And that's it, I'll get the other one. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Right, it comes with stuff to mount it in the dirt if you had that a rock or something like that because it's got these little hooks and some string and stuff and it even comes with some gloves so you, those look like kind of colder climate gloves huh? and then it comes with these little stakes so you can drive it into the ground you could use those to hold into the dirt you know probably kind of help if you angled them if you put one in an angle this way and one in an angle that way that would kind of keep it from pulling out so easy in high winds or whatever i don't know how well it would hold up in high winds i mean but i think if i put at one anchor one concrete anchor which is basically they call them redheads here but a lot of guys do that's a brand, but like a 3 8 bolt drilled into the concrete, I think it'll stay in place, even in high winds. Pretty good. I mean, I only reason I didn't put it up, I didn't put it up where my other one is. So I was thinking, putting it up here where the Karmic Gear is. But the problem is I always have to make wide turns to come around. And I'd have to yank it out of the ground a lot to try and make this turn. I have to come way out sometimes with big trailers and stuff. So I was thinking about putting it on that side. I don't know. I thought about it, but it's like, I don't know if that would really help much. I can't really park something there and leave it. So my goal was to get one car out of the weather. And that worked out pretty good. Well, thanks again to these guys for providing this thing. They went ahead and sent it out to me to try out to show you guys. So make sure you thank them. If you're interested in one, check out their website. Go to their, check out the pricing on it. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's definitely better than the Harbor Freight one. There's things that are better about it. One 
is it's a real 10 foot wide. The one at Harbor Freight, it's 10 feet wide at the base and then it goes up at an angle. And these are nice and real straight 10 foot. So you can, you know, what I'll do is I'll just put a level on these. I'll, you know, put a magnetic level on them, get them level, get it where I want it, and then just put an anchor in each one. It won't go anywhere really. It had to take a real high wind to yank that. It'll probably yank the vinyl apart before it'll yank out of the ground really. But anyway, eventually I'm gonna change it up to something else. And we'll talk about that a little bit later uh, another time. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.